Now, before we rejoin the thrilling quarter-final between Joe Swale and Nigel Bond, we've just got time to see again that fascinating retrospective about the playing careers of our veteran commentary team, Ted Wilkes and Peter de Courcy. It's been me life. I've been obsessed with it my whole life. That and snooker. So, yeah, <laughs> back to the snooker. Was it Shakespeare who first said, what is snooker? <laughs> Was it not? <laughs> well, it's in me blood, plain and simple. But it can be treated with tablets. <laughs> so, back to the snooker. I think it was the world final that the fans wanted to see. Me and Ted at the Crucible, 1975. <laughs> We'd just broken into the top 16. Well, it was the top 14 then, because there were only 14 professional players. <laughs> it was a funny year, the 1975 World Championships. We'd just broken into the top 14, but then, obviously, there was that tragic coach crash on the M56, which took out the top 12. <laughs> so, what are your memories of the 75 final? <sighs> well, it was... It was just like a blur. Is it my go? <laughs> it was the longest final in Crucible history, which is particularly impressive because in those days it was just a best of three. <laughs> yeah, we started on the Friday and the first ball didn't go down till Saturday lunchtime. <laughs> Ted Wilkes, four. <laughs> well, it's not easy to play at your best when you're under that kind of pressure. <laughs> but fortunately, we did. Foul. Peter de Courcy, four. Well, Peter was always the athlete. The man keeps in shape, like many a gay. <laughs> and of course, there was the CPR moment. Well, a lot is made of this, but it wasn't unusual in those days for a player to need a little bit of CPR during a match. <laughs> I think I'm OK. <laughs> oh. Has there been a change in snooker culture? Yes. Do the players drink less now? Yes. Do they manage to hit the ball more often? <laughs> Certainly, yes. Is this a good thing? Who knows? <laughs> between them then. In the end, of course, famously, we shared the title that year after industrial action cut the match short after only two weeks. For me, that was the moment when I thought, Thatcher, bring it on. And I've never paid tax since. Joke. Cut that out. 